welcome. I can't change, people sometimes say, that's just the way I am. Sometimes people are prepared to accept the way they are, even if they aren't very satisfied with it. Change, they think, is impossible, or at least too difficult. But actually it is possible for us to change, especially with God's help. Jesus, however, urges change in what we might think a surprising direction. Turn with me to Matthew 18 and verse 1. At that time, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, Who then is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a little child to him and placed the child among them, and he said, Truly I tell you, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, whoever takes the lowly position of this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. As people grow, we don't expect them to be like children. We expect them, rightly, to grow in maturity. Surely that's a good thing. So what does Jesus mean? Our culture places great value on power, position, authority and control. Jesus, as we saw a couple of weeks ago, made an enormous sacrifice in laying aside his position, his place in heaven, much of his power and authority in order to come and live a humble human life and to give himself for us on the cross. This is a model for us, but it's much more than that. Jesus encouraged his followers to learn from and reflect his example, to put aside selfish ambition, not to lord it over others, instead to be servants, demonstrating this by washing his disciples' filthy feet. He urges humility. And that's all very well, but this instruction seems to go somewhat further. And the stakes could not be higher. Unless you change, he says, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. So what does he mean by becoming like a child? Jesus is challenging that desire for position, for greatness. And what he's looking for is simple trust and humility. A child looks up to his or her parents and to adults in general. Children realise that adults know much more than they do have skills which they haven't yet learned, and can guide and help them in lots of ways. Children recognise that they have needs which adult can, adults can meet, and that they're helpless on their own. To enter the kingdom, we need to recognise our need and Jesus' ability to save us. We need to recognise that we're sinful, that we've rebelled against God, and that we can do nothing to put this right on our own, that we need his forgiveness. And we need to put our trust in Jesus as a small child trusts a good parent to meet our needs, to accept us as we are, to forgive us and to bring us into his kingdom. We cannot do it on our own. We need him. Now you may say, I know all that and I've done that. Good, that's great. But we also need to make sure we retain that humility before the Lord and that trust in him. We need to make sure that we retain that humble servant attitude and grow in it and that we don't get swallowed up by the world's attitudes and find ourselves looking for position or power. It's possible for us to become distracted by the world we live in, whether it's by power and position or by money and material things or by life's pleasures or by particular people. It's possible for us to become complacent or lazy. We need to keep our eyes on the Lord. Whilst we should be investing in our relationship with him and seeking to grow, we need to retain our simple childlike trust and we need to build humility. It's countercultural, it's not the model of the world, but it's essential for our spiritual well-being. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we pray that as we come before you, we might recognise that we are like helpless little children. That we can do nothing in our own strength towards our salvation or of lasting value. That we're totally dependent on you. Help us 
to come like children, to come in humility. In Jesus' name, Amen.